Hello, Darth Vegan here with another new series. This one is the Thrones of Britannia, a total war saga in which you try to reunite the lands of Britain. And uh, I'm going to be doing uh, this playthrough to the best of my ability, pronouncing things uh, in a mixture of what I would say is uh, American English, Old English, Norse, Gaelic, Welsh, and any other number of combinations of those languages therein. <laughs> so please don't be too hard on me. I can barely speak American English uh, efficiently. And uh, my wife says I am the world's worst enunciator. So <laughs> um, please be gentle uh, as I attempt to pronounce these names and what uh, I have done a little bit of research and what they uh, would have been at the time their pronunciation so some of it has sort of, sort of a Welsh or a Norse depending on the region uh, or Gaelic um, flavor to it and I'm I, like I said I'm gonna do my best to pronounce those uh, efficiently and uh, and not sound like a total uh, jabroni so I'm going to be playing as one of the English kingdoms uh, Mirce um, it will later be known as Mercia, but uh, from what I have discovered um, from several different videos, uh, I will put the description of one pronunciation, um, pronounce, see I can't even pronounce pronunciation correctly, um, a pronunciation video that I have been watching, I've watched it probably 10 times to try to get my tongue wrapped around these pronunciations. Uh, he uh, says it should have been pronounced uh, Mirce, so I am going to attempt to pronounce that as such. I may occasionally call it uh, Mercia because that is um, what it eventually becomes at some point. Anyway, enough with the pronunciations. Um, let's talk about what this faction entails. It is an English faction. As you can see, it is this light blue color here of one, two, three, four, maybe six provinces. Five? Is that fine? Two, three, four. I guess it's five. I thought that was six. Okay, can't count either. Um, we start in the year 878. Is initial challenge of normal. We have multiple fronts. As you can see, we're bordering several different factions here. The faction information is, once the greatest Anglo-Saxon kingdom in Britannia, Mirce has fallen on hard times. The glory days of Offa and Pinda are long gone, and the Vikings have annexed much of Mirce's western or excuse me, Eastern Territory, while the Welsh, th Welsh threaten from the West. Mirce's recent rulers have been accused of both hiding behind the West Sox's skirts and of using Mirce's dwindling riches to appease the Vikings. Chilwolf walks a difficult path, but pride still burns in his people's hearts. So, I'm going to try to play on very hard, because I've heard that that is the best way to play um, Thrones of Britannia. Let's look at the campaign settings. Uh, don't want any help from the advisor. Limited AI moves, battle settings. And it all looks good. Very good. All right. So let's uh, let's get started. Oh, let's look at my my cultural features here. The English kingdoms have the fjord. They are part-time soldiers pledged to leave their farms for military service each year. They can recruit levy units based on the number of owned settlements. So that's good. We have plus 25% commander's aura on all characters, plus 5 melee skill for all units when defending, that's all armies. Uh, Mirce in particular has hordes. Mirchen subjects expect the kingdom's wealth to be distributed between the nobles, the army, and the people. That's interesting. Uh, they have plus 5 unit morale when the general is alive. They have strong armored sword and spear infantry, impressive late game cavalry. Let's look at our uh, objectives here. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to try to do, if this is going to be a long, uh, long game or short game. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Alright, let's get started. We'll, I will let the uh, cinematic play, because I do enjoy it. And uh, we'll just sit back, enjoy that, and then we'll get started. A century ago, we held the reins of power. Other kingdoms bowed to our rule. Then came the Vikings. Their army divided us, and foreign kings ruled. We bent the knee for a time, but the great army has now been defeated, and 
our time has come again. West Saxa may claim to rule England, but it will not rule us. A great king can lead us back to glory and make our throne Britannia's greatest. These are uncertain times. You will need to stay strong and be aware of those who would take advantage of England's divisions. The Welsh, West Saxa, and the Great Army will ruthlessly exploit any weakness. My Ursa's future is in your hands now. Prove you are worthy to hold the reins of power and unite Britannia under your banner. One of your armies is garrisoned in your capital, ready to defend it on your order. Your other army is poised to attack the rebels in the north. Eliminate the rebels, then turn your attention to your neighbors. Okay, so thank you for that little story, and thank you for showing me that I am pronouncing Mirce uh, differently than Creative Assembly chose to uh, pronounce it. <laughs> <laughs> so, who knows what I should do. I would uh, love to hear from you guys and see what you think I should pronounce uh, our faction name as. So, that being said, we have our first mission here. We should stabilize internally before we look beyond our borders. Prove your right to rule and eliminate the nearby rebels. Eliminate the rebels in Kester. The internal stability will go up for five turns. Fantastic. So it'll be plus five order in all regions and plus 50% unit uh, replenishment. So that's good. All right. So here's the rebels, I guess. What do they have here? They have Edbert, the general. He's an elite sword infantry. All right. And they got some Churl uh, spearmen. Or is that Churl? Probably Churl, huh? Don't know. I think you pronounce a C with a H sound when it's next to an E. I don't, I'm not, I'm not sure. <laughs> like I said, pronunciation is not my strong point. Okay, um, what do we got here? What of our, this province has low public order. Office Deke. Okay. Office Deke here has Kester and also a minor settlement. All right. So here is Kester and I guess Scrobisburg. Is that the uh, that is the minor settlement right now? We have a Brug, which is communal fields, um, and then we can go up to a farm. That's cool. We also have a sheep pasture and go up to a sheep herd, or we have lead veins. We can go up to a lead mine. Sweet, cool. All right, uh, we have a mint and that's and then we can go up to a royal mint. And a trading post to go up to a grain exchange. Cool. All right, so we got plenty of food right now. We got 72 food. We've got plus five war fervor. All right, that's good. Here's our fjord. We have uh, seven out of 14 there. Leader influence. Cool. All right, good. Awesome. Got plenty of income at the moment. All right, let's take a look at our at our uh, at our map here. All right, so let's move around just a tad and take a look at all of our. It looks like almost all of our settlements are ready to upgrade. Um, down here we have West Saxa, and they are, I guess, one of our enemies. I'm used to seeing all of the icons down here around the end turn, but now they are up here, uh, which is right underneath my fraps counter. So <laughs> makes it a little difficult for me to see. All right, so let's take a look and see what we got going on here. We've got West Saxa down here. Um, hmm, how strong, they're a little bit stronger than us. Their strength rating is number one, we're number three. So that's, we'd start off uh, pretty powerful, I guess. Um, their attitude toward us is friendly and improving. Oh, so that's good. Um, and then of course we have these, uh, Powys here, and Gwyneth, and Brockenock, and Susselwig, and Do it. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that even remotely close. Got Jerby here. All right. This is part of um, Hellerburg. 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 
Borg. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be cringing the entire time, trust me. Okay, so let's take a look at our uh, rebels we have up here. Uh, we also have a character with low loyalty. So let's take a look at our family tree and politics. Faction leader is Chill Wolf. Um, she's got good influence here. And I've got, I'm married to Ostrith. She is demanding, which means she has influence and zeal that goes towards me, but less um, loyalty. So that's interesting. Oswald here has minus two, or he is two out of ten loyalty, so that's not good. Do I have anything I can give him? I can give him my office. Um, I could adopt him, seek, seek him a wife, assassinate him, secure his loyalty. Hmm. Cost fourteen fifty. Yikes, that's a lot. All right. Well, let's see what we got for estates. Do I have any estates around that are not owned here? Got two down here in Oxna, Florida. I guess I could give one of those to to uh, to him. Do you want to continue with assigning this estate to the selected character? Not at this time, but I like that I have it available. Okay, so one of the ways you can increase the loyalty of your followers is by giving them one of your estates. Alright, so let's take a look at my army here. What do we have? Um, hmm, just looking at these icons here. Uh, we've got uh, Chael Wolf, he's Elite Sword Infantry, Troll Spearmen, Sex of Warriors, Trailed archers, trail archers, scout horsemen. So let's take it right quick before we get started on our battle. Let's look at our um, our technology tree here. I have to recruit ten sword and or axe units um, to unlock the first level of our melee tech tree. Now I know that um, the English factions focus on heavy sword infantry and cavalry late in the late game. So I'm probably going to focus maybe on these two types of things. Hmm. Raise a general, attack another army ten times, recruitment. All right, pretty cool. Uh, what can I do here? Upgrade within the granary or south or rain trains. Hmm. Okay. So this will give us uh, some additional stuff. Cool. Awesome. Leadership, trade. All right, so basically all of the technologies um, require you to to do some action, and then it will unlock that tree for for research. So that's a cool. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, um, we can't rename units in this uh, in this game. However, we can rename the army. Right now, we are the English Revengers. I don't like that. How about, the, uh, how about giving me a, uh, a name for my main army here? And then uh, we'll go with that. Uh, English Revengers? That don't even make sense. What are Revengers? <laughs> it would be Avengers, wouldn't it? I think so. Anyways, um, we can change their stance. Um, if, you, if you want to recruit more, you have to go into the Fortify stance unless you are in a... Uh, um, settlement. Um, let's take a look at the general here. He has some three command, two zeal, good influence, and these are some of his, uh, oh, he's handsome. He's a handsome man. And then you can use these followers to basically, um, buff your, your, your general every time you level up. So instead of going through a skill tree like you do with, uh, say, Warhammer, uh, you have followers that you assign, so that's kind of a kind of a neat little thing there. All right, I would say we'll we would um, go ahead and raise a couple more troops to attack uh, the rebel army, but I think we can probably deal with them with what we have here, depending on what he's got here. I don't know; it's pretty pretty even match, really. Kind of makes me a little bit worried. Where's my other army at? Down in my capital, they said. I thought. Uh, Where's my capital? Uh huh. Here it is. 
Aha, this is, uh, who dis? Kynhelm. He's a, he's a nice little guy. Got a nice beard, like it. He can recruit guys. Yeah, okay, so it, is, it does depend on them being in, in, um, in a settlement. So, that, that answers my question there. Alright. No stance right now. Can go into a raiding stance, but not in my own territory. What do you say we just go ahead and jump into battle then? Or should we try to recruit an army? Does this have a garrison in it? Yes. Okay. The minor settlements do not have garrisons. That's something to keep in mind. Minor, minor settlements do not have garrisons. You have to defend them with your armies. So that's kind of an interesting new uh, new thing that we have. Ooh. Could go up in the green exchange. I kind of want to go ahead and build a farm. Yeah, it gives me additional supplies and money and food production. Glory awaits us. All right, let's do that. There's that. And we'll go ahead and do the mint as well. And that will take up most of our money. Uh, let's see what we've got over here. 1,200. 900 for this one. We can build a potter. Uh, this one's only 1080. Go up to a forge. Mm, gives us additional armor. That's great. And additional weapons. Costs more money, though, per turn. Um, hmm. Those were additional industry. Um, just give, let's look at a couple more places here. Uh, Brug. I'm already upgrading them. Um, let's see what he's got. Sheep herds. Got cloth production and farms and markets. Alright. Iron veins, iron veins. Okay. Alright. Let's just check. Uh, that's Hereford. Ulfsheim. Glau... Glaucaster. Kierncaster. I'm probably butchering every single one of these names. Oxnaforda. <laughs> Fruit trees. Neat. Alright. Let's go back up here. And we'll go ahead and get started with our first battle. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Should I go ahead and do one more thing? Let's do the pottery. Get our trade going up. All right. Let's attack them. Let's have our first battle straight away. Well, I say straight away. We're 20 minutes into the video. <laughs> ah, yikes. They have the upper hand right now. They have... Basically, they have Axemen, two Spearmen. Um, hmm. I have two Archers. I don't know. They've got more men than us. And, you know, let, let's start off strong. Let's start off strong. And attempt to... Uh, go ahead and save it. And attempt to route these babies. Alright. Ooh, I like the map. Look at that. That's cool. That's cool. Alright, let's fight it. I don't know. Maybe we'll do okay. There's. I'm worried about their axemen being able to overwhelm us. So, we will have to be careful about... Uh, uh, hmm. What can I do to... The spearmen should fall to us, to our swordsmen. They've got shields. All of their units are shielded, except for their archers. I don't know. This may be a mistake. <laughs> Maybe I should have uh, fortified and grabbed a couple units. That's something else I knew about the recruitment. Your troops are not at full strength when you first recruit. So they started with about half strength, and it takes a few turns for them to... Uh, to get up to full strength as they replenish depending on you know your food supplies and and um, nutrition and all those other things so 
it's interesting. It is interesting. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we can pull this off. I'm gonna have to really, uh, oh, I don't want to play in the rain. Yeah. We'll need that dry weather for our archers. We're gonna have to try to do something where we use the terrain to our advantage. Maybe over here? Ah. Could form up on this. Yeah, but if we run, they'll run right off the map. That's the problem. No, we don't want to do that. Let's stay over here. We can use this rock as our flank. Flanking position. Let's use uh, those guys over there. Alright, so let's get all of these guys there. Let's get our horsemen. Let's take a look at our army right quick. We've got our lightly armored uh, scout cavalry there. We've got our uh, regular swordsmen. We're going to be in guard mode. Spearmen. Our elite infantry, love it. And then our archers. Everybody's got a mustache except these guys. They got a beard and a cool hat. He's just looking up in the sky like, what? -de 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 -de. <laughs> awesome. All right, you guys, I actually want you. Uh, I would normally put them in the middle to be supported by these stronger units, but I have a feeling that their uh, their their cavalry will try to flank us. And so we're gonna put our spearmen on the flank, and maybe, then maybe we can uh, do something about it. Let's put our cavalry in group three so we can grab them right quick. All right, and you're gonna be in the trees, bro. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Ah, what are you doing? No, I don't want that. Don't want that. Swordsman. Don't want that. Well. I want. No, don't want that. Courage Stop. Man. I want all of you to, to go forward to right up there. Of course. All right. And then Horseman. you come Kick over here. Steeds. Kick your steeds, boys. We will all right. Run, boys. Run. Run for it, men. Where's my king at? Where's, oh, there he is. Nice. I love the little banner there. That is cool. Get them before they get us. Yeah, get them before they get us. That's the idea. Yeah. Alright, we're going to keep our our cav in a wedge. Let's see if we can straighten up our formation a little bit. Don't hold back. Don't hold back. Alright. These guys are okay. Left flank is protected. Arches. Arches. Move forward just a hair. Cav. Get ready because they're going to send their guys at us. Yep. Okay, here we go. Get them. Get their horsemen. What are you guys doing? No skirmishing. Guard mode. Shoot them. Shoot them. Nice. Oh, yeah. Very good. Let's get over there. See if we can engage and help them out. Clear them completely out. That would be perfect. That would be perfect. Shoot at those guys. Let's get these guys moved on up to support. Got their horsemen tied up. Let's get on them. Annihilate them. That was a weak charge, bro. Yes. Kill them. Kill their horses. Nice. Yeah, they're fleeing the force. Can you get in Shield Castle, please? So that their arrows do less damage. Pierce them. Alright, we're doing good. Oh, yeah. We wrecked them. Alright, you guys come on back. Spearmen come over here. Go in the trees. Alright, who are we shooting at? Spears, get them. You go there. Alright. 
go after them. Go there. You guys come up here. Before you go up there, I want you to smash these axe guys. Smash them. Oh yeah. Oh, beautiful. Come on out. Go after those ranged guys. We're going to have to keep cycling these guys as we go. This is their elite sword infantry. I mean, yeah. These guys are going to shoot them in the back. Come on, shoot them. Hit these guys. Hit them. Hit them and then come back. Hope they don't get too tired. They're winded already. Alright, we got those wrecked. Let's give them about 10 seconds. And then we'll come back. Alright, come on back. There we go. Tier 1's... These archers are doing nothing against these guys. <laughs> are they even hurting them? I don't know. Alright, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. What's going on with these guys back here? They're wavering. These guys are taking fire and they're winded. I need to break this unit here. Get our right flank rolling around. Alright, here we go. They're shaking. Oh, God, that is awesome. Wipe them out. They're going to break. Yes. Alright. Who are these guys doing? They're broken as well. Get them. Alright. Guys, get these guys. Get out. Get out, actually. Those are spears, and they're not wavering anymore. Get out of there. Alright, you shoot at them. These guys are still shooting at them. They're wavering, very tired. Yes, enemy general is dead. Those guys are shattered. They won't bother us anymore. Those are shattered. Oh, yeah. Nice victory. Yes, beautiful. Finish them off. Finish them. Can we go catch those guys before they escape? We want every single one of their units dead. Hold your fire. Hold your fire. We don't want to lose any of our guys accidentally. You guys go capture them. Oh boy. That wasn't too bad, was it? Wasn't too bad. We pulled it off. Hey, 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 hey. I thought I told you to hold your fire. How about tell them to hold your fire? Withdraw. Formations. Hold your fire, I said. Okay. Let's see what they're doing here. Come on, guys. Catch them. Faster. Faster. Get a speed bonus and a charge bonus. Our melee skills less. Okay. Well, that's good to good to know. Come on, catch them. Catch them before they get out of here. Oh yeah. Oh, beautiful. We did catch them. <laughs> Jump the walls. Fantastic. Yep. Nope. They're tearing the walls down. That's cool. Destructible environments. Okay. Let's see if we can capture any more. Oh, that's that's it. Okay. Very good. Decisive victory. Boom. Awesome. Nailed it. All right, let's see how we did here. We got uh, 54 kills, 99 kills, 68 kills, 92, 60, 159 with our cavalry. They did a fantastic job. Fantastic job. All right. So we have, oh yes, we have eliminated the rebellion. All right, let's see what we can do here. We can kill the captives. All right, we can take on the warriors and get a little replenishment. Or we can ransom and release only a hundred dollars. I'm gonna do take on the captives. All right, enemy killed in battle. The rebel Edbert is deceased. Okay. Mission issued. Capture the following settlement: Mamkester. Mm-hmm. Where is it at? Mamkester. Who is this? Who is this? Northumbria. Hmm. Am I at war with them? I don't know. Let's go into Caster here. We're going to have to uh, get a little replenishment. Got our supplies are in good shape. Okay. 
All right, let's see what we can recruit here with a little bit of money I have left. Um, you can see from we can pretty much recruit everything, um, except for if unless it has the research needed here. So we got some Thegan horsemen here, but they're pretty expensive. Um, they are uh, retinue me uh, melee cavalry instead of levy. Quite a bit better, as you can see. Quite a bit better. Um, but I, I, I can only have one right now. I can get some more Chul Spearmen. I can get a Marcher Spearman. I can get uh, more Sex Warriors or Thegans. How do you pronounce that? Thanes? Is it Thanes? Perhaps it's Thanes. Perhaps it is. Um, we can get some Axemen or some Long Axemen. Ooh. What we got here? They don't have shields, but they um, do more damage. Hmm. You get some more bows or some skirmishers. Uh -huh. Let's. Uh, we need more infantry. We've got a spear and a sword right now. We probably need some nice armor piercing, which uh, I'm thinking these shield, these axe guys are armor piercing, right? And let's get one more spear as well. Let's get two more spears. All right, that's very good. And then hopefully we'll be able to uh, still have some positive income. Let's take a look at our diplomacy right quick. Um, and are we at war with Northumbria already? Um, no, we're not at war with anybody. Okay, so what to do, what to do. We've got to decide who we're going to attack. Um, we're not at war with anyone. If we can get the East Engle here, you will get a fair hearing, and see if we can maybe uh, clear them friends, perhaps. Much as we oh. might. Be. How about um, Kent? We hope our we have no friends. All about Daphna. After much. Nope. Mm-hmm. I don't know about this Gliswisig. Gliswisig. Much as we might. Nobody likes us. Powis? Anyone? We hope our no. Nobody likes us. So <laughs> we're screwed. Gwyneth. Let's see if Gwyneth will. After much thought. No. So we're screwed. Um, Northumbra here is pretty decent. Their strength ranking is three, ours is four. They're dependable in a fight and aggressive. They do have a vassal, Grant Brew. Oh wow, it's way down there. Interesting. Interesting. They don't have any allies or defensive packs. So maybe I should uh, declare war on them. That that might be the next thing that I do. 